morning, mamash. Good morning. <laughs> she loves hearing that in the morning because then she knows she's going outside because I'm waking up. Hi, today is Wednesday. I started the vlog a little later because I thought I was gonna take a shower like right away as I woke up and then I decided I didn't want to take a shower as, right as I woke up. So I'm going to eat, but I'm gonna show you the biggest quesadilla I've ever had. Here it goes. It doesn't even fit on the plate. Oh yeah. These tortillas, um, I got them from Danny's family. Do you like to use those tortillas for the quesadillas at the parties? And I think they get them from TJ because I've been there a couple of times with them and they go to the tortilla place and they buy those. And they're so yummy. And I really wanted some iced coffee today. But guess what, guys? We have no ice. And I, and I really don't want a hot coffee, so I'm just going to eat that real quick, shower, go get me a coffee, and then get started with my day. So I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I'm getting a very late start uh, for what I was supposed to be doing. It is currently 2.12. Um, the good thing is that I got my coffee first. Yay! I got my coffee. And also, one of the good things was that... Kevin didn't have a key today and I was home to let him in so that's a good thing yay and um, so I will be on my way to go pay Danny's car statement because he's trying this new thing where they take out money from his card but they don't really have ATMs anywhere so I think his bill is due soon so I'm gonna go deposit that money for him so I'll see you guys later Okay guys, so I was at the bank uh, depositing money for Danny and I could have sworn he told me Oh, there's something in the car. I could have sworn he told me that he gave me 332 last night and didn't really think about, you know, checking, double checking or whatever. And I got here and I started counting the money and I only I was only counting 322 and I was like, "Wait, I think he told me 332." And I text him, he hasn't texted me back, but um his payments are three twenty-two and sixty-five cents, and I put in like the extra money that I had on me, the cash, because I didn't want him to be short. And I really hope that he really did give me three twenty-two and not three thirty-two, because then I that means I lost ten dollars, and I don't know how the fuck I lost them, because I haven't taken that out from anywhere. Like I haven't touched my wallet until getting my coffee, but I got the money that I had, so I don't know. But you know you love someone when you put all your extra cash in there and you get no chipotle today. So, am I not the best girlfriend ever or what? So, I was going to go to Chipotle and then go home, but I think now I'm just going to go home. Because I'm trying not to use my credit card. Oh, but I'm hungry. <laughs> oh my god. My life is so complicated, guys. And I'm poor. That's what happens when you're poor. So I am home now and I spoke to Danny not so long ago and he actually did tell me that he only gave me 322. 
So, uh, yeah, I don't know where my head's at. I thought he said three thirty-two, dollars um, And even then, like, $5 really wouldn't make a difference because it was 10 bucks he was missing. So, I am now reheating the meat. I'm going to eat meat and some tostadas. And then I'm going to take... That's my house phone. And then, and then I'm going to take Summer over there. Summer, Summer to the uh, dog park. I was going to say the dog beach. I haven't showed her all day. I haven't sh Oh, wait, yeah. I, I did show you today in the morning, huh? Yes, I did. You ready to go? Uh-oh. But you haven't ate. Go eat. You have to eat first. Yeah. A comer? Look at her tongue. She knows. Vas a comer? Vas a comer, Summer? Yeah, come. Come. <laughs> guys so summer and i are at the dog park already as you can tell she cannot wait she is going crazy well she was actually before i turned on the camera she wants to make me seem like i am a liar but there she goes she is so desperate to get outside to get going hey hey you gotta relax let's go she is peeing everywhere Come on, Summer. Come on, Summer. Let's go over here. Let's show them the name of the park. It's so pretty. I mean, it's better than the ones I've gone to. This is really big. And it's called Uptown Dog Park in Long Beach. Come on, Summer. Let's go. That is the dog park over there. You excited? You excited? Come on. She's a loner. She's finally exploring. <laughs> Are you scared? Uh oh. Are you scared, Summer? Summer, don't hide. She is hiding. Summer. Yay. Go Summer, go Summer, go! Oh god, she's coming back. <laughs> Why are you so scared? Try not to call her name too much, that way she could just go play with other dogs, but... Oh my god, that dog barks way too much. Finally going home because she was just not having it. Not having it at all. She was just next to me the whole time. Summer, you're a dog. You're not a human, Summer. Really? 
Come on, this way. Come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Let's go home. She kept putting her snout inside my bag because that's where I had her leash. She just wanted to go. Summer, the car's over there. Let's go. Come on. You gotta pee again? How many times you gotta pee? Summer? All right, you guys. So we're back in the car. We only spent about an hour at the park. Oh, an hour, 45 minutes. Um, but she was not having it. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? No. Um, she just wanted to be alone. Uh, she wanted to be just next to me. And honestly, I, I wanted her to have fun. I don't think that's what happened here. She just, she was putting her snout in my bag because that's where I had her leash. She was just smelling it and scratching it. And then I said the V word, which is vamonos. And she got up on her both like her hind legs and she was just like scratching me and like wagging her toe and she like just wanted to go. I felt so bad. Um, but all the dogs there today were kind of on one. They wanted to hump each other. And I'm so glad they didn't go to summer because I would have just grabbed her and said no to the other dog. It was two dogs and they were they were really they really needed some attention <laughs> i don't know um so i am gonna go i think i'm gonna go get me an arizona because i had water but i left it in the car so here it is that's my water because the other one's summers she already licked it so you wanna go home now summer no, no, no. She wants to come to my side. Go to your side. Over there. That's your side. Go. <laughs> oh, and then I was talking to some guy. He looked... He was all tatted up. I was scared. So I, I just became his friend. <laughs> um, he was actually a pretty nice guy. He was just telling me about his dog. Asking me questions about summer. You know. And in the middle, there was like a bunch of old people just talking to each other. Like, that is where they meet up. It was so cute, but I also felt really out of place. Um, and someone just kept looking out to the... Because there's two parts of the park. There's a, for, a side for big dogs and there's a side for small dogs. There was a lot more dogs on the small dog side. And someone was just staring over at the big at the big dogs she just wanted to go over there i was like uh-uh they're gonna eat you they're gonna eat her alive because she likes getting feisty with the bigger dogs i don't know what it is i think that she just thinks that she's a bigger dog but she's not and so she gets really really feisty but yeah i really like this park um, I think I'm gonna start bringing her a lot more often just so she can get used to it because at home She's just you know by herself with me and she now thinks she's a human So we're gonna start bringing her here a lot more often and one of my goals this year is to Get Danny to bring Thor with us too because I think he'd have a little bit more fun because he's a really outgoing dog. He's used to being with other dogs. And I think he will mess with the dogs. And so I really, really want to see that. Not to be messed up or anything. Um, he's very, very playful. He, he never means to hurt anyone. Although he likes to hurt Summer. He likes to bite her tail. Because in, he knows that it takes her off. It really pisses her off. And he knows it. And so he does it. He's one of those dogs. He's an he's an asshole. He's an a-hole. He's a jerk. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get going now. Oh, there's another lady with like two small dogs. But that place is getting crowded. So I think Summer just just wanted to go because there's just so much going on around her. So I don't blame her. I mean, I'd be kind of confused. My mom took me somewhere where there'd be a bunch of kids and I'd never been around kids I'd probably freak out so she just has to get used to it so now I'm just gonna get um again like I said my Arizona and then I'm gonna go home so 
If I don't see you later on today, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, so today I am going to try a new routine, something a little different tonight. And that is that I'm going to put coconut oil all over my face because my skin has been acting up pretty, pretty bad as well as my psoriasis. So let's keep this skin flawless. And I am using just the Simply Balanced Organic Coconut Oil. This is unrefined virgin coconut oil. That is what you need. And mine is from Target. Can't ever open jars. It's open. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and rub some on my forehead and I'm actually gonna go a little bit in here because that's where my psoriasis is really coming out now so a little bit up here my hairline and all over and you always want to make sure that you rinse it out in the morning I'm oh, sorry I'm kind of whispering so I'm very sleepy I'm just making sure I rub it all in. Hopefully this helps. I remember to remove this in the morning. Oh, I was just gonna put some in my ears because my psoriasis has been coming out of my ears too. It's really nasty, guys. I don't know why I have this, and I wish I didn't have this, but oh well. I'm gonna put some a little bit here, which I'm probably not even gonna rinse out in the morning. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Okay. So I'm gonna look pretty greasy for the night, but I really hope it makes my eyelashes grow and it kind of calms my skin down because it's been very f flary lately. Look, all that redness up here. Not cool, guys. I'll see what it does to me tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and do this every single night. And I'll do it from today is Wednesday. So till next Wednesday and see if I see any good results. Hopefully I don't forget. But yeah, have a good night, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. So it's crazy. Thursday because I'm looking really crazy but that's because I put coconut oil right now um, I put coconut oil right here right at the bottom and then actually I don't know if you could see it but I have another spot here and it's inflamed and I didn't know I had this until this morning when Two of my coworkers thought it was a hickey. So it's not a hickey. It's inflamed and it hurt. So I know it's psoriasis. And I, I didn't, it's, I mean, it's not contagious. So I don't know why it would be from here to here, which it's a new spot. I don't know if it's, I don't know what's going on and why I'm having all these little outbreaks, but 
I'm trying to control it, I swear. And so I'm going to leave this on for about another 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'll be taking a shower again. And I shouldn't even be showering this much because, again, it might dry up my scalp. But I'm going to actually not put shampoo on it and just, like, kind of wash off the coconut um, oil. And, yeah, I mean, it worked very well for my face. This morning it was super duper, um, sorry. This morning my face was super duper soft and I mean I still have the spots it's obviously not gonna go away but yeah everything was looking good on my face today and I haven't put any makeup on I'll probably put makeup on later on um, well after my shower and yeah that's all and then right now I am just watching the Devin Roberts family or the Roberts family something like I'm sorry hold on the Devin Roberts family she's pregnant and I think she, oh no she's having a boy so so I'm watching her vlog and then hold on okay I keep messing up and then I can't wait to eat this I have to have breakfast first though because I just got back from work and so I need food um, and what else, what else, what else? I think that's it. I'm just going to get food and I'm going to go shower because I'm looking real cray. Like I said, like 30,000 times already, but yep. Hey guys. Um, I am in my car because I brought Danny for an interview. He has an interview in that building, and I am so excited. He's he's not excited at all. I am. Um, I get pretty much get excited for every interview he has, even if he doesn't even want to go. Um, but yeah, he just went in. His interview is at 4.15, so um, just like 15 more minutes. He went in a little earlier, but I'm waiting in the car for him because I wanted him I wanted to drive him so he can relax and, you know, just not worry about the whole traffic and stuff, which there wasn't traffic at all, actually. We made it in 13 minutes, so we were just chilling in here for about 30 minutes. Um, and yeah, that's all. And then right now I am using, I'm using my handy dandy mount. To watch some vlogs, I was watching It's Judy's Time. Yep. I was watching It's Judy Time. And that is about all I'm doing here. And I'm just going to wait for Danny. Um, I don't have... Oh, this guy walking out of that same building. Not looking very happy. He's like... Oh well, oh well. He's really not looking happy at all. That is why Danny doesn't like to get hyped up about interviews because on like the website they announce it one way and then when he gets there he's told that it's like commission based or performance based and I'm just like who does that? But I don't know. I just I just really want him to get a better job not because his job isn't good but because he's already bored there and I know what it feels like to go somewhere to work where you don't want to work so you're pretty you're miserable and that guy did not look at me <laughs> um so yeah I'm just really hoping that he likes if he does get when he does get a new job I really want him to like you know what he's doing and so he's still looking for he's still looking for a job over like at the um what is it called sheriff's department like as a probation or n not sheriff department but just anywhere like with probation as probation officer pretty much so juvenile hall a jail just you know pretty much anywhere that's what his thing is. This job it's, has nothing to do with his degree, so 
he just wants a higher paying job and he really wants to get out of where he's working at so let's hope that happens for him let's cross our fingers for Danny realize that this app is not even My Little Pony. It's just called Pony Coloring. They got stuck? They got stuck on the door? Hey guys, so I know I look a little rough, but it's really early in the morning. It's about 8 o'clock, and I usually don't wake up at this time. But Kevin and I are at the park because he got to referee today for a game as a flagger. He's actually a flagger. I think that's, I think that's what they're called. But he's like on the sideline. And it's really cool because um, he's never done it. So he was pretty nervous, but um, I can see him from here, and he looks like he's he's okay. He's doing a good job. And I think I'm gonna go sit over there because he's on the other side. So I think I'm just gonna go over there. Bye. Kevin better run it, not be in the middle of it. Where's Kevin? Yeah. Can you can I just watch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin is over there, so he's fine. Oh my god. Where's he gonna go? OMG. The cops came already, so I hope they don't get in another fight. <laughs> How was that first game, Kevin? It was better. <laughs> he was already a little nervous, and then they got in a fight. So he says he's coming back. Um, all I told him was he, that he better not get in it next time, because supposedly I didn't the ref. Yeah, I know. But next, if there is, oh, okay, okay, he didn't get it, he didn't get in it, but if there is another one, he told me that the referees are supposed to try and cut, break like, the, break off the fight, and I told him, you better not, because look at him, he's so short, those kids were like, my size, no, they were taller than you, so, yeah, so, and then there were parents getting in there, and that big old fat guy, yeah, no, <laughs> <Te plaza. laughs> 
Alrighty guys, so I completely forgot to end the vlog, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I hope you have a really nice week, and I will see you guys next week. Bye! <laughs>